Hello and welcome to the 34th session of Physics 9. This is Sir CJ. In this uh, session, what we are going to be um, tackling are the following parts. The first part is a simple activity on the potential energies. It's under observe. Okay, so the second part naman is under ask. It is activity number 72 titled Let's Fly. And then the last part naman is under ask. It is a discussion about the conservation of energy. Okay, so uh, all of these are found in the 7e based self-learning module in Science 9. Particularly, you'll find these in Unit 4, Book Number 22, pages 5 to 10. Uh, the learning competency we are mastering in this uh, video lesson, it's as follows. So, perform activities to demonstrate um, conservation of mechanical energy. Yeah, so, we're going to be looking at the potential energies from a new light. So, I hope that you are ready for the first part of this session. Uh, you remember that height, the height of an object, uh, and the amount of force as well of, uh, that is applied on an elastic material, such as a spring, um, these two, the height and the amount of force, these affect the amount of potential energy that is uh, contained in an object, that an object has. Uh, in terms of gravitational potential energy, uh, when, uh, say for instance, an object is put at a 2 meters height and then uh, up a slide, and then another object was put on a different slide, a similar slide, but uh, it is put at 4 meters height, you will notice actually that uh, they have some kind of a difference when they slide down, right? Uh, wherever you are on the planet, you will observe that uh, the uh, body that slid from a 2 meter height appeared to be quite slower no slow medyo mas mabagal yung kanyang pag slide down compared to the body that slid from a 4 meter height right the four, the one from the 4 meter height it's gonna slide a bit faster the one the man from a 2 meter height it's gonna you know slide down a bit slower and that is because the uh, the one that is put higher, that's a 4 meters, actually has greater gravitational potential energy. Okay, um, let us repeat that. Okay, but let us kind of like rephrase that. You remember that the, um, what do you call that? The formula for the gravitational potential energy is um, PE. That's gravitational is equal to mgh, right? Um, remember that if they're put uh, like that, um, puro multiplication yung gagawin dun sa other side, uh, that means that all of those factors are kind of like directly proportional to the factor on the other end. So in this case, we can say, simply say, that uh, the gravitational potential energy of an object is actually directly proportional to the um, the object's height. So the higher the object is, the greater the gravitational potential energy of that object will be. Okay? Um, now we'll be considering the following scenarios. So uh, please, uh, you know, take note of your observations. Okay? So that you won't forget them. The first one is uh, stretching a rubber band. So when you stretch a rubber band like this, you pull it end to end, uh, yeah, you can observe um, several things, right? So the first question is, what kind of energy do you think is present in a rubber band? So uh, yeah, decide. You, all, you actually know different kinds of energy, right? So uh, decide, choose which, bit, which among those kinds of energy do you think is uh, present in a rubber band in this case. Um, take your time. Question number two. Ayan. What happens to that energy of the rubber band when it is stretched? Anong nangyayari doon sa energy na kinokontain niya nung in-stretch na siya? So go ahead, take your time while you listen to some background noise caused by the dogs of our neighbors. <laughs> Are you done? Let us now uh, proceed to the next uh, question. Ayan. 
if the rubber band is stretched lightly, so medyo in-stretch lang siya, how far and how fast will it go, do you think? Hindi mo siya gaano in-stretch, tapos ni-release mo siya. Um, ga- gaano kaya siya kalayo? At uh, gaano kaya siya kabilis mag-travel? Now, if it is stretched a bit harder, or a lot harder, how far and how fast do you think will it go? Now, in which case, will the rubber band actually go farther and actually be launched faster? So, you might uh, just want to choose your answer. Are you through? Okay, the next question is why do you think your answer in item number 3 or Q3 uh, is like that? But kaya ganun yung naging sagot natin dun sa Q3? You have to uh, explain it using the term conservation of energy. So uh, you, what you know about conservation so far was uh, from our discussions in Momentum, right? So what I want you to do is integrate what you know about the term conservation in conservation of momentum now when we are talking about the conservation of man of energy. Go ahead and take your time. We will now move forward uh, to the second scenario. Apple trees of different heights bear fruits and uh, they are as follows. For the first question, from which apple tree will fruits fall harder to the ground? Will it be uh, the fruits from the taller one or the fruits from the shorter one? You have to defend your answer. We will now proceed to the next um, question. How does gravity affect the fall of an apple fruit from an apple tree? So, is there any effect? Of course, may effect yun, di ba? Gravity has an effect on the fall of an apple from an apple tree. So, in what way does it affect it? Take your time. We will now proceed with the next question. How does the height of the apple tree of the apple fruit, I mean, from the ground, affects uh, the fruit fall. How does the height affect the fruit's fall? Is there any effect? Kung mas mataas ba siyang nahulog or hindi? Okay, so uh, we'll now proceed to checking your uh, own work. Okay, so I hope that you grab the new um, color for the pen. Okay, so whatever new answer or if ever idea that you get from this, uh, from these answers, I hope that you're gonna be taking note of them. Yeah? Okay, so for question number one, um, the answer is elastic potential energy. So it has uh, this kind of potential energy. Of course, we're, gonna, we're not gonna be accepting elastic energy, okay? What we accept here, it's elastic potential energy. Next question, question number two, um, its elastic potential energy increases. So as the uh, rubber band gets stretched, the amount of elastic potential energy it has also increases. Next, the answer is when stretched lightly, it can only travel a short distance with a very slow speed. But, when stretched harder, it can actually go farther, a farther distance, with a faster speed. So, yeah, when it's stretched harder, it is when it's gonna go farther and faster. And then, question number four, the correct answer is because the higher the elastic potential energy is in the rubber band, the higher its kinetic energy will be. So, kung gaano ka siya ka-stretched, okay, tumataas yung kanyang poten- elastic potential energy, ganun din yan, kataas, yung kanyang magiging kinetic energy. Kanyang magiging distance, at yung kanyang magiging velocity. So, tumataas, tumataas din. Okay. 
and then uh, we now move for move forward to the next next scenario the second scenario the answer for the first question is from the taller tree the taller tree has a higher height which also means greater gravitational potential energy okay and then number two um if it uh, pull the it pulls the apple towards the ground with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared all right next and i think the last question the greater the height the harder the apple fruit will fall to the ground because height is directly proportional to the apple fruit's gravitational potential energy as uh, we may have discussed already uh, in the introductions a while ago okay so um, in this activity you began approaching the idea of conservation of energy and i hope that you kind of like had a high score in that activity i hope <laughs> now um from stretching the rubber band and the uh, apples falling from the tree, um, we can actually kind of like uh, go move and move forward with a more complicated discussion re related to this topic. So um, I hope that maybe you can get some of because uh, this is not actually exactly some kind of a rocket science. Now. Um, when uh, you look at uh, the uh, examples kanina about the uh, rubber band yung sa apple tree, this one's actually quite uh, related to that. Um, when you were like using a slingshot, diba? Um, the harder you pull the rubber, um, the, uh, the stronger the impact will be. The farther the distance is going to be, and the faster the velocity is going to be, right? Okay. Um, well, it's not really advisable for you to use um, a slingshot because of its, you know, yung danger na pwede niya makos. But it's actually a perfect um, example of how energy gets conserved. So uh, before the actual release of the um, of the slingshot and after the release of this of the slingshot the amount the amount of energy that you're gonna be um get, getting or computing for be in the system before and after should actually be equal because it's supposed to be yes conserved okay um when you stretch the rubber material harder you're actually increasing the elastic potential energy of the slingshot. Um, when you relax the stretch, the elastic potential energy also becomes lower. And I hope that you know why. Uh, in this uh, first part, uh, we were uh, capable of uh, kind of like, intrud intrud I really like that expression, don't I? <laughs> I hope that we were able to uh, kind of, <laughs> I'm doing it again, um, talk about how energy gets transformed and uh, tulad nung dun sa conservation of momentum natin um, there is a before and after scenario uh, in these discussions okay so yung before it's just uh, potential energy and then after it's gonna be kinetic energy okay and they have to be equal so we can say they're conserved um, let us explore that idea even further with this uh, part um, under ask activity number 72 titled let's fly the objective of this activity is for you to identify forms of energy acting on an object and for you to as well to uh, explain how gravitational potential energy elastic potential energy and kinetic energy transforms and gets conserved in a system the materials you're gonna need for this activity are the following so a piece of paper pen or pencils rubber bands, masking tapes, and foot rules. Okay, so for the first step, you need to get a piece of rubber band and uh, practice launching it like this. So uh, kung marunong kang <laughs> gumamit ng rubber band to annoy your classmates when you were still in elementary, may, well, uh, maybe you're gonna ace this activity. Okay, pero please, wag niyong itututok ang mga rubber bands sa mga kusino mang taong nandyan, okay? 
kasi baka tamaan ng mga sensitive parts ng mga faces nila and you know it might uh, cause some kind of a complication health wise now um, make sure that the rubber band is horizontally launched and it is actually parallel to the ground so dapat talagang pahiga siyang ganyan next um, launch the rubber band with different forces so ikaw na magde-decide on how great the force um, is going to be applied that's going to be applied now you just have to make sure that the amount of force you apply and you also have to consider as light force uh, is indeed lighter than the next kind of force you need to apply so kung bawa you decided na this is the lightest uh, force you're gonna use and then this one's gonna be a bit uh, you know more uh, a stronger force and then you're gonna be applying the strongest force that you can actually muster then make sure na you feel it you feel how different the uh, pressures are the uh, forces are now you write your observations particularly on how far dapat gano kala yung rubber band um, and then um, kung kaya yung compute yung velocity well okay lang pero we're kind of like uh, more uh, particular sa uh, distance in this activity so again do the activity with a light force, a slightly hard force, and a hard force. Then note your findings on this table. Are you done? If you're through, let us now proceed um, answering the guide question. So you only have one guide question and I think you can write this on the same sheet of paper you, you wrote your tables on. Okay, so... How will you compare the distance traveled by the rubber band that was launched with a light force from the, uh, the distance traveled uh, by the rubber band when you used a slightly hard force? Now, using the terms such as elastic potential energy and kinetic energy, you have to explain your answer. Take your time. Are you done? Okay. The correct answer is the rubber band that was stretched with light force obviously had lower elastic potential energy compared to the rubber band that was stretched with a light, slightly harder force. So uh, you can just expect uh, the same observations okay, all throughout the activity no matter where you do it on the planet. Okay, we're done with the second part. It's um, under ask activity number 72. It's titled Let's Fly. Now, conservation of energy uh, is seen in those examples a while ago, okay? Um, the rubber bands and springs, they both have elastic potential energy. Um, this form of energy is causing the elastic force sa mga rubber bands and springs whenever they are stretched or whenever they are compressed. Now, it is the push or pull that you're actually feeling. Um, whenever you elongate or uh, compress a spring. So it's the same kind of force. When you pulled on that rubber band, you increased the elastic potential energy of that rubber band, which can be transformed into kinetic energy once you released the rubber band. Now, the velocity of the rubber band after you released it is directly proportional to the amount of elastic potential energy you formed in the rubber band as you pulled on it. Now, in other words, yung total na mechanical energy ng rubber band na um, mayroon, yung, yung thing na yun, yung, yung thing uh, that you are uh, pulling it, as you are pulling it, is actually equal to the total mechanical energy that the rubber band, band had when you released it. Okay, so again, remember that the total... Um, mechanical energy when we talk about that it's actually equal to the sum of kinetic plus potential energy right so uh, there is kinetic and the potential energy before and there's also kinetic and potential energy after the release and um, if you're gonna sum them up kailangan magkapareho sila before and after i hope that uh, you followed that through okay remember that uh, the uh, mechanical energy over here we're actually talking about um, the sum of potential and kinetic energy now since the kinetic uh, since mechanical energy is a sum 
of all kinetic and potential energy in the body, it has to follow the following formula. Okay, do you remember this? I hope so, I hope so. Now, uh, it could be expanded into the following. So, yung formula ng kinetic energy is actually mv squared divided by 2. And then, yung namang formula ng potential energy na gravitational is mgh. Right now, if the amount of mechanical energy before and after the transformation of energies must be conserved, ang kailangan na mathematical expression natin, yung sinabi ko sa'yo kanina, it's, it has to be as follows. So, mechanical energy before is equal to the mechanical energy after. Okay? And uh, obviously, we can expand it into the following. Okay, so uh, Ke, and then potential energy na gravitational before, put it like that. Then yun naman after, put it like this. Okay. And then, uh, let us look at this uh, illustration. So again, um, kapag uh, pinagsam natin yung kanyang uh, yung, yung body's uh, kinetic and potential energy before and then after my re release we computed as well for its potential and kinetic energy and then we sum them up we have to get the same thing for us to say na na-conserve ang mechanical energy kapag hindi sila magkapareho ibig sabihin merong nadagdag o kaya may nawalang um, kinetic energy or kaya potential energy that actually uh, caused the um, kubaga, that difference in terms of uh, the uh, before and after mechanical energy. Okay? Now, uh, in this situation, um, at point A over here, the jumper has actually um a lot of gravitational potential energy and uh, no kinetic energy yet. And then at point B naman, the jumper is currently falling and the cord is uh, still quite loose. Right, so the gravitational potential energy plus kinetic energy is equal to the mechanical energy. So kanina wala mang kinetic energy pero ngayon, meron na siya. At point C naman, the cord's entire length is fully used. So, meron siyang gravitational, meron siyang elastic, meron din siyang kinetic energy. And these are all going to uh, sum or to total into mechanical energy. Okay, and then at point D, the cord is fully stretched and you still uh, see uh, it actually hanging okay, over there. But it's no longer, the jumper is no longer in motion. So, we can say... Na wala nang kinetic energy and the, to to the total mechanical energy is simply the sum of the gravitational and elastic potential energy. So at these different points, dun sa point A, meron lang siyang gravitational potential energy. Sa point B, meron siyang gravitational kinetic energy. Nung point C naman, lahat meron siya gravitational elastic at saka kinetic. And then last point naman na wala na yung kinetic because it's no, it's no longer moving. Okay. All the while, ang lahat ng mga um, nangyaring ito, actually, all the whole time, hindi nagbago dapat. Yung total mechanical energy ng buong system. Okay, so, uh, in point A, the total gravitational potential energy is the same as the sum of the gravitational potential energy and the kinetic energy in point B. So, kung ito, kukompute mo to, or measure mo to, dapat, Kapareho lang siya nito at nito at nito. Okay? Um, some budgie jumping parks in the Philippines, such as the ones in the plunge in Danao, Bohol, Philippines, um, have different heights for different preferences ng mga tourists. Now, um, which do you think will be more intense? Yung 200 meter or 500 meter high launch pad? Now that you have uh, an understanding of uh, how mechanical energy gets conserved, I hope that you have a very clear and a comprehensive answer to that question. Alright, uh, this session of, the, of Physics 9 is uh, done and uh, we were capable of uh, covering the following parts. 
under observe an activity a simple activity on the different potential energies and we actually shed some new light on them the next uh, part the man is under ask and uh, it is activity number 72 titled let's fly and then the last part the man is a discussion about the conservation of energy now um, in this um, session we were uh, still targeting the following uh, by the end of the session, dapat marunong ka na mag-perform ng mga activities na nag-demonstrate ng conservation of mechanical energy. Okay, so we're gonna be doing that step by step. And then, uh, you will see the parts of this uh, session on uh, Unit 4, Book Number 22, Pages 5 to 10. This is Sir CJ and I hope that I will see you in the next uh, video lesson. Have a great day!